Compton College is a public community college in Compton, California. From 2006 when it lost its regional accreditation to 2017 when it regained that accreditation, it operated as a part of El Camino College prior to and subsequent to the partnership with El Camino College. The college was operated by the Compton Community College District. Topic. History Compton Community College was established in 1927 as a component of the Compton Union High School District. From 1932 to 1949, it operated as a four-year junior college, incorporating the last two years of high school as well as the first two years of college. In 1933, the campus was devastated by a major earthquake which struck the region, leaving two buildings standing. Nobody on campus was killed. In the 1940s several thousand Compton College students entered the armed forces and during World War II the campus housed a military unit and a defense plant. In 1950 voters approved a bond issue separating the college from the high school district. The new college campus was then constructed at the college's present site, 1111 East Artesia Boulevard. Classes began on the new campus in the fall of 1953. In the 1960s the composition of the student body changed dramatically from predominantly Caucasian to overwhelmingly African American. As a result, it has sometimes been called, California's historically black college. In 1970 the Board of Trustees appointed the institution's first African-American president, superintendent, Dr. Abel B. Sykes Jr. Highlights during his 14-year administration included the construction of the first two new campus buildings since 1952, the Jane Astrado Allied Health Building and the Abel B. Sykes Jr. Child Development Center, named after him in 1995. The 1980s was a period of reduced funding and partial retrenchment for the institution, but by the early 1990s the college had once again stabilized. The second major demographic shift occurred in the 1990s making the campus population 50% African American and 50% Hispanic. In 1996 the board appointed Ulysses C. Williams as interim president, superintendent and in January, 1997 made this appointment permanent. <laughs> Loss of accreditation In 2004 the college began experiencing significant turmoil caused by a corrupt board and financial insolvency." In May 2004, the state installed Arthur Tyler Jr. as special trustee to assist the Compton Community College District toward achieving fiscal stability and integrity. Subsequently, in August, the state chancellor issued another executive order 2004-02, authorizing the continuing authority of the special trustee to manage the college, and to suspend, for up to one year, the powers of the governing board of the college, or of any members of that board, and to exercise any powers or responsibilities or to take any official action with respect to the management of the college. Interim President, Superintendent, Dr. Rita Cepeda was hired in February, 2005 to assist with the recovery of the college. The following year, the Executive Director of the Accrediting Commission for Community and Junior Colleges ACCJC, Dr. Barbara Baino informed the college of the commission's decision to terminate the college's accreditation. In July, 2005, the State Chancellor assigned Dr. Jamila Moore, Senior Vice Chancellor of the California Community Colleges System as the Interim President, Superintendent and Dr. Charles Ratliff as the Special Trustee with the impending departure of both Dr. Cepeda and Mr. Tyler. The college began its appeal to the Commission regarding the termination decision. On March 1, 2006, a third special trustee, Mr. Thomas Henry, was assigned to the college district to continue with the implementation of AB 61 and the development of AB 318 to keep the doors open for students. 
On June 30, 2006, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger signed AB 318 D. into law giving the College District $30 million loan for recovery and the opportunity to partner with a college of good standing to offer accredited courses. The bill also gave the Fiscal Crisis and Management Assistance Team FCMAT the responsibilities to conduct a comprehensive assessment and to develop a recovery plan for the college to regain its accreditation. Five months later, the special trustee approved the Memorandum of Understanding MO with El Camino College District to solidify the partnerships between the two districts. Under this MO, the campus became a center of El Camino College. The Office of the President – Superintendent was replaced by the Office of Provost – Chief Executive Officer – CEO. The center is officially established as the Compton Community Educational Center. At midnight, Compton Community College lost its accreditation. Shortly thereafter, the Compton Community Educational Center officially became part of El Camino College with Dr. Doris P. Given serving as the Provost – CEO. Dr. Lawrence M. Cox became Provost, CEO from 2008 to 2010. Topic. Accreditation regained On June 7, 2017, Compton College was restored to full accreditation. This followed years of rebuilding under President Keith Curry who was provost of the campus while it was partnered with El Camino College. Campus The 40,000 square foot 3,700 square meters library on campus opened in 2014. Its opening was originally scheduled for 2007. At that time it had a cost of $25 million. The opening was delayed by almost seven years and with an additional $4 million spent due to violations in the building code. For the period it was highly renovated. Topic. Notable alumni Billy Anderson, NFL player Memo Arzate, retired professional soccer player Don Bandy, football player, Washington Redskins Justin Carter, born 1987, basketball player for Maccabi Kiryat Gat of the Israeli Premier League James Coburn, American actor, famous for his cool, tough guy roles Coolio, American rap artist Yuri Kochiyama, Japanese-American human rights activist Eva Togori Dakino, 1934, Tokyo Rose Luella Detweiler, 1918-2004, All-American Girls Professional Baseball League player Jama Fanaka, filmmaker Snoop Dogg, rap artist William Denby Hanna, cartoon film producer, co-founder of Hanna-Barbera Productions now known as Cartoon Network Studios Cornelius Johnson, Olympic champion 1936, high jump Wayne Maunder, actor, Custer, Lancer, and Chase Billy G. Mills, born 1929, Los Angeles City Council member, 1963-74 Superior Court judge thereafter Tino Nunez, professional soccer player Ed Peasley, American football player and coach Joe Perry, professional football player and National Football League NFL Hall of Fame member Carl Polad, owner of the Minnesota Twins Alvin. Pete. Roselle, commissioner of the National Football League NFL Don Wilson, Major League Baseball player for the Houston Astros 1. 